John is forced to lead a split existence. A gay man in Uganda, he can only really be himself when he is in the safety of his own home. In a country where homophobia is rife, John has suffered harassment from officials and been threatened by his neighbours. I've limited my time for going out, usually after work. I try to make sure that I come back home straight to avoid late night outings. And I try to keep around with a few friends. Evangelical preachers are a common sight in Kampala, and the influence of their fast-growing churches is pervasive. Being gay here can already get you sent to jail. But since 2009, fundamentalist Christian groups have backed a bill that would see certain homosexual acts punished by the death penalty. Last session, Parliament failed to discuss the bill, but the proposed legislation has been reintroduced, and the religious lobby is pushing for it to be debated. Born again churches in Uganda are all against it, homosexuality. They are all born again churches against it. We don't support it whatsoever. In the face of threats and possible violence, gay rights activists like Nikki Mwanda are struggling to put an end to the prejudice and persecution. Every human being has a right to housing. Every human being has a right to medical care or health care. Every human being has a right to stand in a, for political office. Every human being has a right to education. But here, they don't specifically say that you can't access these things, but the way they treat you makes you not access these things. It makes it difficult. But while the struggle goes on, homosexuals in Uganda continue to face a life of uncertainty. For John and other gay men and women here, that means living in fear every time they leave their homes.